Wow. Thank you, President Powers, Chairman Matthews, and thank you to the entire Texas Exus organization. Um, I think it might be appropriate for me to start by sharing my perspective on facing your fears. I can tell you that sitting on top of a rocket, knowing that any second the engines are going to ignite and a fireball of a couple million pounds of thrust is going to hurl you out of Earth's atmosphere, isn't too bad. <laughs> It's, uh, your heart rate goes up a little bit, and you know exactly what's happening, but it's not particularly scary. Being last on the podium behind <laughs> this remarkable group of people is absolutely terrifying. <laughs> congratulations, uh, congratulations to all of you. I am very, very humbled to be among you. Uh, I started at the University of Texas at Austin as a graduate student. I came here with a very strong foundation in engineering from the University of North Dakota. And I also came here with the intent of continuing on in pursuit of a dream that I had from the time I was a little girl. I dreamed that someday maybe I could be an astronaut, maybe I could fly in space, maybe I could make a difference. My process for choosing UT was not particularly sophisticated. I had been working as a student at the Johnson Space Center in Houston, if I knew Austin is close to that. I had heard through the grapevine, Austin's a good, or UT is a good school. I liked the dog parks, the running trails, the proximity to camping and hiking. Uh, but it turned into much more than that. I remember a visit I made to campus after I had chose the university. And I came to talk to some professors and figure out exactly what I would focus on, who I would work with, my, what my research would be. And one of the folks that I met with was Dr. Ken Diller, who was at the time the chair of the mechanical engineering department. And I, very, I remember very little about that meeting. I don't remember what we talked about. I don't remember how long we talked. But I, what I very distinctly remember was leaving that meeting with the sense that he truly believed that I was going to succeed in what I was setting out to do. He, he had confidence in me. And I can tell you that is such a strong motivator for a person especially a young person who was in the position that I was. And it didn't stop there. I ended up working with him, and I, I sensed that from him the entire time I was there. I sensed that from other professors, from other graduate students, from the members of my dissertation committee. And I think that's what UT is all about. So thank you to Dr. Diller. Thank you to the entire UT establishment for giving me exactly what I needed to continue pursuing my, my, my dreams. Um, in this large group here tonight, I have a handful of guests, um, a handful of very special people who happen to represent all phases of my life, my career, my education. Um, it means a lot to me that, uh, I don't know where you guys are, but it means a lot to me that you were able to come. Um, it, it's certainly true that nobody can get where they're planning to go, hoping to go, without the help of the friends, family, and people they just meet along the way. Everybody molds you as you meet them. And everybody, is, so thank you to all my family and friends um, that I've met along the way. And my husband, Doug, um, how many people can say that they are married to a renowned Marine Corps F-18 pilot turned astronaut? I can. <laughs> I'm very proud of everything he's done and who he is. And uh, thank you for giving me such a wonderful life, the most amazing son, and so much to look forward to in our future. It's because of uh, the education I received, the opportunities I've been given, the people I've met, that I actually reached the goal and the dreams that I set as a little girl. Um, I've flown to space twice on two different rockets from two different countries. I helped to build the International Space Station. And just last year, I lived there for almost six months and conducting important research um, I've had such good fortune to have some extraordinary experiences. The most amazing being looking down on our Earth from 250 miles. You would not believe the glorious beauty of this place that we live. I can only hope that through this entire journey, I've taken along all former, current, and especially future Longhorns along for the ride. Thank you all so much.